In this video, we will be learning about the place value table. And to be specific, this place value table is going to be the one which is used in the Hindu Arabic system. Okay. Let me write down something. These seem to be very familiar. Right? Now what are these? These are basically the symbols which are used to denote various numbers. These numbers are known as digits, right? Or you also call them as figures, right? Now, when you take up certain number of digits together or number of figures together, let's say we take these three together, this collection of digits or figures is known as a numeral. Okay? Now, there could be many situations wherein you might have these numerals taken together. Okay? So let's take some of these. So let's say you have 6, 8, 7, 9. Okay? Then you have 3, 1, 2, nine eight and let's take one more you have four six two eight seven nine right so these group of digits are known as what they are known as numerals now place value system or the place value table as we call it is used to denote the number right so when you have to represent a particular number let's say you take six eight seven nine the place value system basically tells you what does a particular figure in a numeral represents when you have to start for this you move from extreme right so we take the number which is there or we take a figure which is there on the extreme right side first this number which represents the last number the or the first number from the extreme right side is known as one right and what does this mean this nine means Let's say if suppose you had certain balls this 9 represents 9 balls. Okay? When you go to the second one that represents the tens. Okay? Now what do you mean by tens? Tens mean that this number is actually representing the number multiplied by 10. We call this as the tens place. So this number basically represents 7 into 10 or 70. Similarly, when you go to the third digit or the third figure, this represents hundreds. Okay? Now what do you mean by this? This means that basically the value which this number represents is this number multiplied by 100. So if this number represents 8, you multiply that by 100. So this number basically is equal to 800. The combination of these three numbers is also known as ones. 
what does that mean this basically is 8 8 ones so 8 into 100 7 tens so 7 itself is a unit multiplied by 10 this 9 itself is a unit and multiplied by 1 right now in the interesting thing that you might notice that if a particular number is the extreme right number right this represents 1 so the value of this is 9 into 1 right the second number 7 into 10 so as you move from first to the second number you add 1 0 here when you move from second to the third this represents 8 into 100 so here you had the number of 0 here was 0 the number of 0 in this was 1 in this it's 2 so this keeps on increasing right this fourth place is known as the thousands place right now this number incidentally only had four digits let's take certain other numbers let's take this one so here also this is one this is ten this is hundred this is thousand this number which is there is represented by ten thousand so when you talk of this number six you have to multiply it by ten thousand and that's the value which this number carries so when you read this you say four lakh sixty two thousand right after you've got ten thousand then the next one which comes in is lakh right so this is four lakh now four lakh is something which you know is used in the hindi arabic system one lakh is equal to 100,000 right so we thought, saw this was 10,000 so if it was 2 it was 20,000 so this represents lakh now let's say for example we have even bigger numbers let me just clean this out and then I'll do certain other numbers with you so let's say for example if suppose in this very number before 4 what I had was 2 6 3 so I told you that this number represents lakh this number represents 10 lakh just like you know you had 1000 then you had 10,000 you have lakh you have sorry you had 1000 you had 10,000 you had lakh you have 10 lakh then this one before 10 lakh is known as a crore again this one is known as what 10 crores so now if I draw a place value table and try to plot You start from the right the first one which we saw was 1 then we saw 10 then we saw 100 these three are also known as ones then you got thousands right so this was thousands this was ten thousands this was lakh this was 10 lakh this was crore this is 10 crore so basically a place value table represents the value of a particular number so if I write this particular number 9 7 8 2 6 4 2 6 3 then I can find out what is the value of this particular number the number 
six represents what? It represents six crores. Right? What does this number eight represent? It represents eight hundreds. Right? So this chart is known as the place value table and it gives the value of a unit at a particular place. So by using this table, you can find out what's the value of six. This represents what? 10,000. So 6 into 10,000 is equal to 60,000. Now one interesting thing which you must note here is that the value of this number which is coming here is equal to, so the value of a number is equal to the sum of place value of each digit. Now what does this mean? So let's take it like this. If I have to find out the value of this number, I take 9 first. So the value of this number will be equal to 9. What is the value of 9? 9 is at 1's place, so I multiply it by 1. Plus 7, 7 tenths, so 7 into 10. Plus 8 hundredths, so 8 into 100. Plus 2000, so 2 into 1000. Plus 6 into 10,000. plus 4 lakh. What is 1 lakh? 4 into 100,000 plus 2 into 10 lakh. These lakh number is basically used in the Indian systems. 6 into crore. A crore is what? 100 lakh. Plus 3 10 crore. 3 into 10 crore. If you add all these multiplications, then what you will get is this number, which is basically 36246287.9. So we say that the value of a numeral is equal to sum of the place value of the independent digits at their respective places.